everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Now, everybody, it's that time of year, everyone's graduating, you wanna do something cute with your hair, everyone has a love-hate relationship with wearing these caps, you know, sitting on your head, funny. So today we're gonna show you all the great things you can do that will pep up your hair that both look good with the cap on and with the cap off. And if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click right here. Let's get to the video. I feel like most people wear their caps like this. So they just kind of wear them down on their forehead. The hats have gotten a lot better. They're not quite as pointy as they used to be. There's just like a subtle point right here on your forehead. And then I feel like girls wear curls underneath. And this looks fine. You can totally do this. But I think it's more fun if you jazz it up. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is a way to not have the point on your forehead, okay? So you're gonna take your cap and you're just gonna fold that fabric down so that it's not nearly as pointy. And depending on the size of your forehead, you can go more folded or less folded. It's up to you. Then you put the cap back on your head, but you put it back farther. You might have to do some bobby pins to hold it in place. But then it sits, you can see, it just sits back a little bit farther. It allows for your more of your forehead to show and those little front, like if you have your hair highlighted like I do, the money pieces show a little bit better. So once you get it folded and positioned back behind your forehead, your part line, so you have the little money pieces hanging out, I think it's fun if you take some little clips, you can see the ones I have here. They could match the dress that you wanna wear that day, they could match your school colors, depends on how you wanna play it. And you just take them and pop them on right here, pointing towards the back of your head on that cap. Just for a little added something something. And that, is style number one. Okay, for the next hairstyle, we need an elastic because we are going to do a low ponytail. So swoop your hair back however you like doing your ponytails and fix it accordingly. So I like mine lower. You could do it like mid head if you wanted, but you couldn't go any higher than that because you need your hat on. So low is probably gonna be the best option, really. You can pull out some front pieces if you want them. This. Okay, and then I always secure my hair. And when you get your ponytail, ponytail styled the way you want it, then you take this fun bow, or any fun bow, match your school colors, match your dress again, put it on the back of your ponytail. So, now you're gonna add your hat. We're gonna do, you could really you could do it with the folded down version or the front version out. Put your hat on situated and you have a fun little accent underneath the hat. If you tuck this like I showed you before up and under you could situate it back farther on your head and leave your pieces out even more. It just depends on personal preference. Up next we have now done a cute ponytail. We are going to do a chunky braid so take this section of your hair. You don't want it too close to your face. You want it sitting back a little bit and it needs to be a pretty good size piece of hair, okay? Because you want the braid to look thick and full and you are just going to do a braid, okay? I take the outside pieces in on this one because I think it lays a little flatter and nicer on the head. You're just gonna braid it. Simple braid, don't do it too tight. We want it to kind of look boho and relaxed. And when you get to the end, secure it with an elastic. And remember, if you still think it feels too structured, you can go back afterwards and pull and tug. And don't be afraid to like have bigger pieces, smaller pieces, just really loosen that braid up. So we want it to look relaxed. And then you're gonna let it sit. So it's just kind of hiding, popping out under the rest of your hair like this on the side. Then you're gonna take your cap and put it on however you want to wear it with the point out or the point hidden. And you have just a fun braid that pops out underneath. And especially when you flip your tassel, I can't remember now if it goes left to right or right to left, but when you flip your tassel, then you have this little zhuzh hiding in your hair. Okay guys, we finished the side braid, the little chunky side braid, but we're gonna mix it up. So if you take, just for funsies, if you take a piece like this, I'm actually gonna start, I just want my front whiskies out. 
gonna take this piece, I'm gonna go to the braid, and up here at the top, I'm gonna stick my fingers through one of the loops and just pull it through. Then I'm gonna go down a loop, pick up another little piece, pull it through, go down a loop, pick up another little piece, pull it through until I pretty much have all that hair picked up and through, but really loose and relaxed. And then you can see what I've done is create kind of this fun, like waterfall moment that's like side hair going through and kind of hides the braid even more, which is really fun and very different, kind of a cool boho -y version. We're gonna do two bubble braids right here in front. So what we're gonna do is take a little piece of hair. You want like maybe like an inch. Don't go too far back because you gotta get your hat on, don't forget. But you want it to be, you know, like an inch, a good pencil width hair, okay? Start by doing the elastic. And you can do elastics to match your school colors. You could do elastics just white to match a dress if you were wearing a white dress, whatever you want here. Basically, you just start bubbling it. Okay, so you're pulling them, laying them. There you go. Let's see, bubble, bubble, bubble. Just making those little bubbles. You can do them tighter together, closer together, whatever you like. And adjust as needed so that it just kind of sits and lays. So let's do the other side. to just try to keep track of how many I did on the first side so I can mimic it on the second side. You wouldn't want like four on the first side and 20 on the second side. And I am just using the little Heritage by Mindy elastics, you can see. When you get your cute little bubble braids all finished, then you can decide whether you wanna fold the cap or lay it flat on your forehead. I actually don't mind it flat on the forehead on this one. It's gonna cover the top little bubbles, but I think you still get enough of it because I have longer hair to see the bubble effect and it kind of helps keep them laid flat a little bit. And then, you know, do the whole walk thing and you have this cute little pop in your hair the end. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to do a bow bun. So some people like to dress up, they wanna wear dresses, they wanna be fancier. If that's the case, what I like to do, I like to leave my front pieces out and I'm gonna go just slightly off to one side. Well, whatever, you can do whatever you want. If you want it on the very straight back nape of your neck, fine. If you want it off to the side, that's fine too. Now I'm just gonna take an elastic and put it here and then I am going to just twist it really fast like this and then wrap it around the elastic. When I get it all wrapped, I'm gonna take an even smaller elastic and secure it, and then we tweak. After we get this secured, then it's like pull, tweak, piece the bun so that it looks softer. You can use some bobby pins to secure it and get it to where it sits correctly. So I'm gonna grab some bobbies. Okay, when you get it bobby pinned and where you want it in place, I like to go back and loosen this up a little bit so it just doesn't look so tight. And I just do that by pulling pieces out and it just gives it a little softer feel. This is feeling pretty good to me. And here is the final look. You can see with the low bun and the cap on. Easy and then when you take the cap off, it still looks great and amazing. Okay, another fun thing you can do is add a bun cuff. So if you haven't seen one of these, it's just a cuff with a little stick through it. This one's from Heritage by Mindy. You can just take this and you can open it up a little bit, slide it around the bun, and then you can pop the stick through and it's just gonna hold it in place and even add a little more fun accent and you're done. So then you can take this off, you just have to re-fluff your hair a little bit and you're good to go with another little fun accent. Ta-da! Okay, up next we're going to do two chunky side braids. I'm gonna go kind of in this section of my hair. I don't wanna take this front piece. I wanna leave those out. I'm gonna just pick up like a big section, okay? And then I'm gonna braid it. And I'm gonna braid just a regular French braid. Doo -doo -doo. This is a kind of a boho look. So it looks really nice when you're done. Braid them down, braid them down. When you get to the end, secure it with an elastic and then puff them. So pancake them to make them extra full and nice. 
when you're done on this side of the head, then repeat on this side. So again, just kind of eyeball where you grab that last piece from. Make sure it feels about the same size. Okay, so now you have a braid on each side, but I'm going to take them and just barely ever so softly pull them back. So we still have all this hair in front. You're gonna take another elastic or you can use one of the ones that's on the end already and secure it. And there you have your finished look and it looks from the front kind of like a normal just curls underneath, but from the side, you get this little pop of braids and in the back, you see the little braids pop too. And when you take your cap off when you're done, still looks cute. Okay guys, next up we have the two tiny braids in front. This one, I feel like Hailey Bieber made this one super popular, but it's also gonna work under a cap, so we're gonna utilize it today. Hair is parted in the middle. You can see I just have waves. We're gonna take a little tiny piece of hair, but I'm gonna leave just some front pieces right in front, and it's just a pick it up, and you're gonna create a braid. Okay, and this is just a little guy. It doesn't have to be super tight. You can do it tight if you want, but there's not a rhyme or reason to it. It's just create a little braid. I have a tendency to braid really tight, so if I'm braiding loose, I have to like remind myself, don't braid so tight, don't braid so tight. Okay, work your way down. I have one. Now we're gonna do a second one right here, just slightly behind it. Same thing, not too big a piece. like this on the side um, we're gonna add a fun element at the end you can have I have a couple things you can add you can add these little hair rings they look like this or you can get them in gold or silver or this one's kind of a bronzy the hair rings you would have just taken and you just put them through a piece of the braid and then you just close them up and so they just kind of hang out of the hair like this or a filigree this these are also jewels that often people wear in like dreadlocks or box braids or knotless braids, that kind of stuff. You can get some of these and wrap them on as well. And then they can just be like this in your hair too. And you can put them all over if you wanted them. I think I'm gonna do the rings today because I like those. And remember your hat's gonna be sitting, so you don't want them up too far. I might've put this one up a little too high, but your hat comes down to kind of like here, the cap. So now we're gonna repeat this whole process on the other side. Okay, I've got the two braids on this side done now. I'm just gonna pop in some little jewels again. No rhyme or reason to wear. Now comes the last and final step, which is adding the hat. On this one, I actually decided I liked it folded under better so that you could see more of the braids and the little accent pieces. So again, play with it, see which way you like it, whether you like it folded or down on your forehead because it's entirely up to you. Okay, the last hairstyle I have for you today is um, one that works on short hair as well. So you work on only one side, which is, and it's just like, to here, which is why it will work for short hair. You can part your hair in the middle, you can part your hair on a deep side part. It's up to you how you prefer your hair. If you wanted to, and then like flip it over, it's just gonna leave more hair on this side, so I'm gonna try it in the middle. You take a section of hair right here. It doesn't have to be very big, and I might pull out these front little pieces because I always have little front hairs. Elastic it, and then you're gonna make a little hole right here. Flip it through, and tighten it down. So it's just like a little flippy flip. And then I'm gonna do a second one right underneath it. Pick up the same hair, basically. Add a little bit more in. There we go. Make a hole, flip it through, and tighten it up. So you have just this little detailing on the side right here. You still have some nice hair down by your ears. You still have nice hair here in front. And then you pop your cap on. So the thing is, when you have your cap on, it's probably gonna cover the top one, but this middle one, bottom one will still show. And then when you take your cap off, you have kind of just some fun little side you know, detailing. And again, this piece can go in or out depending on personal preference. This time before I slip the cap on, I'm gonna fold it. So I'm gonna fold it down and pop it back like this. Remember, you just need a couple bobby pins in the front to hold it in place. And then what you have is just this fun, see the little, it's like subtle, but it's there, which is nice. And you're good to go. That's it, you guys. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that by clicking the buttons right here. You can find lots of other hair tutorials by clicking over here. 
And we will see you guys next week. Bye, you guys. Bye.